All right, friends, we're we're back. Friends, we're back. Uh, we got buddies of ours are out on a bison hunt. They're having fuel issues with the two 2020, uh, 2020 expeditions, and uh, that's kind of uh, not ironic, but uh, coincidental that, to what we're doing. I don't know how this is going to show up, but there is absolutely nothing but this isn't the in in this tank. We have flushed this tank the first time, uh, first time about seven hundred miles ago. On that last uh, tank filter deal, yeah, but we never changed the filter. And we never changed the filter, so uh, in all honesty, I don't see anything inside this tank that's coming apart now. Um, I'm going to set it aside, and we're going to go to Justin, and we're going to start taking apart fuel pump. fuel pump. So my belief is that um, these things are getting full of shit. Excuse my language, full of stuff from the factory, whether they're drilling, milling, or whatever they're doing to put in their fittings and they're not getting cleaned out. My alternative theory is that they're being stored wide open with these big holes for a long period of time and they're getting junk in them and skidoo's not cleaning them out. You know, I could be wrong, but it's there is definitely a case to be made that there's a problem because too many people are having problems with these filters. All right. All right. So, so here we go. We're going to back up a little. 900 East. Are actually pretty much all the fuel filter, fuel pumps on these new machines. They've got three tabs, one, two, and three. Okay. So you just kind of, to get them apart, you just kind of just ever so slightly put your screwdriver in there. You get a little bit of a gap. Then you move to the next, oh, see? This is the funnest part, I think. Yep, and you don't want to horse these things. These are expensive. Don't know if you can even buy this part separately. So you have to have a buddy with one that he broke or something. I don't know. So don't break them. And he, so if I, I'm not going to put my hands in there. I want to put my hands in there, but I'm not going to. Okay. So once that's off, that bottom unit slides right off. We actually have to take this. Yep. Fuel we did this last, last time too, I think. Fuel sender wire, get that off of there first because it does not have enough slack to allow you to open this dude up. There we go. And you could take that off if you wanted. You could probably slide all that out of there, but we don't need to. We're just going right. to leave that all connected. All right. So nice and easy. Just kind of wiggle it up. There it goes. Okay, so there's the magical sock filter. So hey, last time, that looks pretty grody right now, but last time was way worse than this. Yeah, we act, we had actually, a lot more than actually that. had, see that, oh, I'm gonna get in close there. You see those little granules? That we had that all over the last filter. All right, so he's gonna pop that sock I'm filter off. This, this first. Yep. And then this just grab onto the bottom here. Grab onto that. And pops right off. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go over here, and we're going to get the new one, which is, is it the 069 one, Justin? I believe so. Bring that filter over here. I have two of them. Last time we screwed up and got the wrong one. Yes. that. Yeah. So that's the right one. So uh, go ahead and uh, let's put a new because one Because if you look at the old ones, so the old expedition ones. Th this is an old expedition. or uh, oh, old summits. A bunch of them have to use these filters. And we had one of those around, and when last time we did this, we're like, oh crap, they changed the design. Well, then we had a buddy so, who needed one of them. And then, so we, um, so we kind of did a halfway video last time, but uh, anyway, here we are again. Just, on. just pushes right on. Pretty and simple. Then the bottom of the, the bottom of the fuel cartridge, or the folds that the, up. It folds it up and it holds it all together. Right. So. So, once again, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, this tank is pretty dang clean. That filter is way cleaner than I expected it to be. So, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to do this again for quite a, for quite a while. And by the way, everybody, uh, be fire safe. We've got a fire extinguisher nearby. And, uh, you know, this is, we are using, elect we are using, uh, you know, fuel in here and you guys want to be careful about that and you just kind of so you just kind of feed it all down there's a it'll fit together you'll figure there's, well the pump actually sits on here, let me pull it out you pull it out okay. see the little the little uh, flat uh pieces in there 
the pump actually slides down and holds, locks in. Right. Where's See? the fuel pressure regulator on this one? Yeah. Right. Here. Right. So yeah. we'll uh, we'll pop that apart here in a second, just to make sure there's no grit. You just kind of work it up. It snaps back in. Let's get it lined up. Oops. Snaps back on. Oh, camera is bad, but then we got it. Snaps yeah. back in. It's all good. Okay, so fuel pressure regulator on these is, looks way different than the, the old ones. The old ones. Um, man, my camera work is horrible today. Sorry, guys. So. Problem is, these are very delicate also. So people are talking about cleaning the fuel pressure regulator. Um, these are a little different than the other ones. So uh, be very, very careful. And if you don't feel like you can get it out of there, we we'll just don't. Yeah, well, well, there it goes. All right. So he's you got to look in there. Is there any junk in there? Not really. It's hard to. Oh, there it is. And then of course it's gonna reflect off the light. But yep, there's really no junk in there. I'm I'm not too concerned about this one at all. The old the old style ones had a little baffle on them and you could clean off but these are these are pretty yeah, i really can't clean those things can't out. really clean it so let's just go ahead and put it back together again just slides in yep i don't i don't know if i'd recommend you pulling this apart if you, i guess if you had some severe problems you might want to but that or a lot of water in your filter a lot of water in your fill fuel you might corrode that fitting i don't know uh, outside my wheelhouse on that we okay. figured we'd show everything all right and then don't forget to put your fuel sender. Put your fuel sender back on. Nobody likes to have to go back inside something they just did. Okay. Sure Filming this stuff can be kind of fun because uh, it takes away. Yeah, way. you get hands in the way. It takes your brain away from what you're supposed to be doing. Like, we need some grease for the O ring because uh, we already know this to be true. Yeah. So he's gonna clean the housing up because his hands are a little dirty. I think that grease is over on the bench over there. Hey, people are wondering, we do a timeout here. This is my saw scabbard here that people have asked about on Do Talk and on the, you know, on the Facebook page. Basically, all it is is a piece of half inch UHMW. A core um, three eighths, three eighths with a hole in the middle for the saw, bolted down the sides, bolted down each side, holes on the sides for bungees, and then um, bolted through each bumper. And this dude has got thousand, a couple thousand miles on it, and uh, most of the time with a chainsaw, and it's done really well. Hey guys, we're gonna take an intermission again. Our friends are uh, texting us one more time. Hang tight.